Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Life on location, bro. Life on location. Listen, listen, listen. Welcome to another episode of Fresh Off The Boat Show slash podcast, whatever you call us. That's where we are, man. Mm. You go, I'm saying salute to you guys out there. Salute to all the freshers around the world, Africa, Europe, America, wherever you are, man. Mm. You go, I'm saying you can be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with us. Yep, and yep, for that, yep. clap for yourselves, bruv. Clap yep. for yourselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go, I'm saying. Listen, this episode is presented to you by yours truly, Toby Kels, Kojo's yep. not here today, man. Mama is still on holiday, yeah, bro. Yeah, nice. enjoy. Let, let my man enjoy his life. Yeah? His, yeah All right, yeah. then. Cool, 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 cool. Do your thing, Kojo, man. Yeah, but you're yeah. missing out, though. You get he is me? big time. He's missing out big time, bro. You get yeah. what I'm saying? But you out there, man, listen. If you've not subscribed to the channel yet, do that right now. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to the channel, watch the videos, leave a like, leave a comment, share it, tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend because they got friends too yes, man they do be. you go i'm saying i know also we are on your audio platforms as well you go i'm saying your spotify apple podcast amazon google podcast orange podcast yep. whichever podcast you are in tangerine bro. tangerine tangerine podcast bro we are right there man Clementine you go i'm saying podcast, yeah man there, yeah. because because the thing about podcast is yeah some people love the the visual experience and some people love the audio experience, bro. Yeah. Which, you know what, what, what do you what do you what do you prefer? I'm more of a visual guy, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Too. When I watch a podcast, I'm more of a visual guy because I want to see the expressions and everything. Yeah. Bro. You know what I'm saying? How about you? No, visual as well. Yeah. Like, cause there's extra shenanigans happening when That's you're watching it. Like, audio is just audio. Yeah. I mean, not playing down on the audio, but hey. Yeah, that just our, is, our audio is fire as well, but it's X. It's got nah, X bro, it, it, it got the extra shit, yeah, the, the music, X. the vibes yeah. and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That we can't put on YouTube and that. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Because YouTube is, is also nice shit, bro. You know? With the copyright things, isn't it? Yeah. But listen, if you're into the audio thing, we are right there, man. Go check us out. You know what I mean? Fresh of the Boat show, Fresh of the Boat podcast. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we have a special guest today, man. Yep. We got a star, star, star in the building, bro. You go, I'm saying we got a special guy, bro. You go, I'm saying I've been yeah. checking him out and everything, listening to his music. One of my boy was like, "Yo, you need to check this guy out, bro." I said, "Bro, you're already late." I've you been, been, you, I've been checking been, him out, bro. <laughs> he's been you on check the whole time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, and I'm so happy. We are so happy to have you here today, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are talking about Aaron Glitch, bro. Aaron yep, Glitch. Yep, yep. Welcome, my guy. Bro. Salute to you, man. Thank you for having me on the show. Bro. Nah, That's thank cool. you, bro. Thank, thank you, bro. Thank you for coming down. You eh, go, so. I'm saying, like, like we really, really wanted to have you here, man. Love. love. You go, I'm saying, because because one of my boy, he was like, yo, you need to talk to this guy and everything, bro. His music, is, his music is dope, and I was like, fam, you're already late. Mm. I've been, I've been listening to him and everything, man. You go, I'm saying, and and. And I can say I really enjoy your work, bro. For real, love, bro. Appreciate you it. You know what I mean? So, so us hitting you up and everything, and you coming down, we salute you, man. It's love. It's you know what I'm saying? But let's jump into it, bro. Because part of the reason why I wanted to talk to you is, you know, <laughs> when what? we listen to your song or when I listen to your song, I'm like thinking, bro, this guy is giving this lady some some unattainable, you know, expectations when when when, when they come to demand them, bro. <laughs> Nah, you go on me with some of your lyrics, bro. Yeah, yeah. You get me? Huh? <laughs> some of your lyrics, bro. You get me? And and fam, I'm not gonna lie. I was listening to Blunt, mm -hmm. one of my favorite songs, bro. Mm. Lyrical one, fam. My man was just saying his shit, bro. I'm just gonna pull it up real quick, but I don't want. I I don't want to waste time, bro. Mm. My man was like, "Yo, I don't need your love. I love myself enough." Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that bringing back something? That, that, you that's get me, bro. Back memories, yeah. Cause, Cause, you have cause. to love yourself. <laughs> he said, "I love myself enough." Yeah, I don't want to fuck. Mm -mm. Well, isn't it? No, no. I don't need your love. I love myself enough. Yeah. I just want to fuck. Yeah, yeah, I just want to fuck. Mm. Won't take it off. Mm -hmm. She loved the way I'm touching her. Mm -hmm. Take it off. She mm. liked the way I'm up in her, bro. <laughs> I'm like thinking, yo, bro. This is a bit aggressive, bro. <laughs> yeah, hey. fuck. Listen, talk to me, bro. I came up on dancehall music. It's more, it's more sexual than Afrobeat, isn't it? Like mm. the way vibes called to talks to girls is mad. It's ten times worse than me. Oh yeah. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Facts, so facts, facts, facts. I'm trying to be a little bit more discreet with that side and be more love you like afrobeats like afrobeats is a real like music of love and 
dance was. I think it's changing now, bro. I'm in the middle, and it? it's changing up. Yeah, I think it's changing up plenty right now, different, isn't it? Plenty of different characters. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but, but but then yeah, like you're right. You know, at first it was like the whole lovey dovey, lovey -dovey yeah. thing and everything, bruv. You get what I'm saying? But I'm just listening to you, bro. I'm like thinking, yeah, my man is going in, bro. And you're putting guys like us on some nest long thing, bro. Because you're thinking, <laughs> because the girls are probably looking, yo, you're listening to this shit. You hear what my man is talking but about, you know, bro. You know what you always what, Guess what I'm about to say, bro. Well, talk to me, bro. But I speak for yourself, my bro. <laughs> 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 you can't come and saying guys like me, guys like who? Yo, okay. I'm speaking for myself <laughs> right exactly. now, bro. You got know what I'm saying? But I love that tune, bro. Love, love. I fact, love fact the tune. Or fiction. Fact or fiction, but that's the question. Everything in those songs are fact. Everything oh, is it? Like that's how oh, you wrote. Real. Yeah. For, for real. real. Yeah, yeah. But when I made it, I yeah. was with a girl that I loved and I was in a real relationship. But I would okay, like go okay, back okay. in the past and get inspiration from certain times in my life. Yeah. yeah. To a time where, yeah. I hear that though. I hear Just that. So, a little fun, you know? Don't want to, you know? Mm. No attachment, man. Yeah. I don't want to stress. You don't what, want no stress. Is there, that how you've been, or just at the moment? You go through phases, isn't it, where you're like, I know I don't want to go right now, and then you go through the yeah, other yeah. phases, and that was that phase, isn't it? So, so at the position where you are right now with the whole music thing and everything, right? So, are you still in that position where you think, nah, I can't be in a relationship because being in a relationship is kind of stressful yeah, for it me makes right a tough now? Still. You get me because I've got to focus on this, mm, but it's lonely at the same time. Mm. It's lonely, so it's making me a bit of a host or problem still. So I, I'm messing around with a lot of girls. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my guy, better watch out. My guy, my guy. I like that though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Like I love the rawness and everything, right, Pause. Because, because. I would assume that that's probably how you get your inspiration sometimes, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. We were talking about this on the last podcast I was on. Like, every experience, it's like, I make beats in it so I can hear, like, music well, of the vibe of the girl. Like, and then, boom, when I go home, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is we're turning this yeah, into yeah, yeah, yeah. still. Yeah, so, so do you find that different, different situations mm -hmm. give you different, well, I say, inspiration or, or different <laughs> shit to write about? Yeah, like... You know, like, I think every single day you wake up, you're like, you feel like a different person. So I'm like, oh, this this character that I felt like I was today, I'm going to put that into the music. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. You know, I'm still a real guy, but like, the way I'll act with one girl, I might act different with one girl. And of it's course. just natural, isn't it? So I'm like, yeah, that character that I was, yeah, cool, that's going to the next song. Like, it's a little vibe still. My God. Difficult to explain, <laughs> but like, you know? I hear that. Like, yeah. So is it, is it that intentional? Like, you actually wake up and be like, you know what? No, it's, no, just, just, just naturally, yeah, yeah, I, okay, I'm just okay. natural. I'm not trying to be anyone, right. whoever I am that day is who I am. And if, I, if I'm feeling confident and smooth, like a killer bomb, mm. I, can, I can talk to a girl smooth. I'm like, no stuttering, no nothing. I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah, this is smooth. And then other days I might be feeling mad vulnerable. Like, mm. I'm feeling you, like, are you serious or not? Now I, I end up scaring a girl away. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. They don't like that shit, <laughs> do they? They don't like it at all, bro. They do not be. They I only hear want that. what they can't have. That's what it feels like, right? I hear that, I hear that. So do you normally get feedback from some of the chicks in that? thinking like yo are you talking about me on this tune and that uh yeah yeah, yeah all, the all the time so what do you normally say then maybe if the shoe feel weary yeah, bro yeah that means you actually go into proper detail like for them to be like yo was you me you're talking about yeah, but it's peak because i could take a little detail of one girl and a little detail of the next girl, one. Like, and just no, make, mix mix some yeah, magic yeah. together but like. the last tune i made was actually about a girl and i sent it straight to her i was like this is about you Damn, no, I'm, I think she friends on me still. Damn, it's too forward, isn't it? God, too, it's so emotional. Like, like I was trying to serenade her. <laughs> <laughs> no, and man. what song is that? It's not out yet. It's not oh, out. Oh yet. yeah, yeah. oh yeah. All right, yet. cool. So when you sent it to her, what did she say then? She said she likes it. I'm telling it. Da, da, da. She said it's lit. Oh nice. But she didn't like comment on any of the lyrics. She she just you know. I hear that hey, still. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a second verse and send that to her. Well. So <laughs> the, the, the lyrics might probably be in PG. Then was he like? Did you go all out like um, you normally? No, do that's, that one's that one's like a lovey dovey one. That's not even okay. a sexual story. Wow. Yeah, I hear that, bro. And hey, so fam, yeah, okay, go on. Go on. No, going, I'm just going to the, taking it back to the process. Like, how is it like, like the process of you making music? Like you've said, okay, you wake up and you feel a certain way and then you go, run with it. Is that, uh, yeah, that, like, you know, you um, so if I'm in, in, in the mood to write, then I'll write with no beat and I'll just, mm -hmm. like, I'll have a little couple lines going around my head and I'll just be walking, going around my day and a soon song will come together like a whole verse or maybe the, the first bit of a chorus and then I'll make a beat around it, innit? But then my usual process is I don't even know what I'm going to make a song about. I sit down on the keys and I just wait till I find something that sounds lit and then go from there. Oh, so and you play instruments as well? I just play basic, very basic um, keyboards. So okay. just, I get the chords out, nice simple chords. And then from there I get like little 
melody just going around my head. I hear that. And then I straight away, I just record the melody before I've even made the beat. So the chords are down, the melodies go down, and then I'll start making drums around the melody. And while I'm making the drums, the lyrics are starting to flow to me. And then I start knowing what the song's going to be about. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. That's my usual process. I don't even think about what it's going to be about. Mm. I, just want, I just want chords to hit you. You know that? I think the chords are the most important thing. Absolutely. In the song, absolutely. I hate, absolutely. I, hate, I hate when people start with drums. I'm like, why are we starting with drums? We don't even know the vibe. Mm. Like, make the drums after, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that so still. Chords first. Chords first. Yeah, 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 yeah always. Because yeah. that's the whole like it's cinematic experience. Once you play the chords, that's the mood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Dude, Drums bro. ain't the mood. That's gonna make you dance and that, but yeah. but you're like you need the cards and everything, mm. bro. So have you been in a, in a situation where you sat there and everything, just just doing your thing, writing, and then boom, you just have a brain freeze, like you don't you don't know what to do. It feels like you're stuck in there. You get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would just I would just go to a next beat and I'll just go to a next beat. I meet thousands and thousands and thousands of beats. If it, if it, if, it, if it don't flow, we'll cut it off and go to something else. We come back to it later, and it has to all be natural music, spiritual, you know. Nice, nice, nice bro. Nice, mm. bro. We don't, we don't deal with writer's block. If we got writer's block, it's there for a reason. Stop. Don't Just force stop, it, innit? Do something else, yeah, yeah. come back to it and everything, yeah? Exactly, because it's not going to come out sounding right, innit? I hear that, bro. I hear that. Another yeah. tune again is Shiva's breath. Shiva's, yeah, yeah. Shiva's, bro. Fam, I'm going to pull up what, what my man was talking in Shiva's, bro. Yeah. Yo, 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 I was yo, like, I was like, I'm gonna, you, you are in with what he's <laughs> bro, fam, 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 fam. I was thinking, yo, this guy, bro, what's going on, bro? Wait, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna pull this shit up, man. Just give me a second, fam. <laughs> You're gonna go second, to the fam. funny lyrics. He gave me <laughs> <laughs> like halfway through the verse. Again. Yo, fam, look at what my man said, and that's the reason why I say, fam, like, yo, G, what are you doing, bro? Because you know who he reminds me of, right? Yeah. And I don't know why artists do this shit, bro. Yeah. Is Diddy. Just before we get into Shiva's, bruv, mm -hmm. I'm just going to play something that, that the, um, because he just dropped his new album, innit? Uh-huh. I ain't even he, listened yeah, to Yeah, he just dropped his new album and everything. So and he's back, yeah? Yeah, nah, what, he's P, back. P Diddy, yeah? Yeah, P Diddy, bruv. Okay. Yeah, he just dropped his new album last week and everything. Uh -huh. Heat, though, heat. Yeah. You got what I'm saying? I mean, he just done a tune with gigs as well, innit? So yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yes. He just did that and everything. He's back. You know, so he's dropped his shit and doing this interview, yeah. You listen to what my man said, bruv. Mm. <laughs> this old guy, blood. <laughs> this man's fifty, 50 bro. <laughs> He's funny, blood. What's going on, bro? What's going he, on? He, he got me, bro. Like, I, I don't know. That's not game, bro. He fam, he got me. Like, I'm thinking, yo, fam, like, you lot paint this whole image in there, field, which is cool in there, field, but then you look at, but, but then for, 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 for guys like us. No, not us, bro. <laughs> Please, still, please, still please, by please. myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah please, for guys like you. Yeah, of course, bro. For I hear that, bro. Guys like you. I hear that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro. Like, I was just looking at the lyrics of Shiva's in there, field, mm. bro. First of all, who's Bria? Bria is a Jamaican artist, but she lives in Germany, isn't it? She, oh, right. Yeah, we just linked up through like um, posting, and I saw her post. I'll be liking her post. She'd be liking my post. And we're like, boom, should we collab? Boom. She's hard though, yeah, bro. I flew straight to her. Um, she was in Hamburg in Germany. I flew to her. She had a, her own studio there. Okay. And um, yeah, we, we done like uh, about 48 hours in studio. We just banged out four songs. 48 yeah. hours straight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not 48 oh. hours. Like we would take a break. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah you know I was wondering. But okay. yeah, two days in studio, yeah. We made fire still four four songs, um, yeah. We're gonna drop we'll drop the next one yeah, soon yeah, as well, yeah. man. But yeah, she's sick, man. She's nah, bro, sick. she's hard and everything. The way she was speaking on on like I mean on the tracks and everything. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. And obviously you yourself, you was also talking your shit as well, mm. bro. You get what I'm saying. But you know what? I wanted to go into the lyrics and everything, but some of you out there just go check out the lyrics, man. Uh -huh. You got me. Check, out, check not, out the song. You got me. Just go check out the song and everything, Shivers, man. Shivers, but my Aaron glitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check yeah. it out. Go check it out. It's everywhere yeah, right now, yeah, man. Big up, big up. But um, when you meet people in this space and everything, which which I assume that obviously you reach out to bad people and everything. Yeah. For example, you reach out to this chick and everything. Yeah. What is the conversation like? Do you say, yo, this is this is the kind of song that I want to do, this is what I'm thinking, or is there a situation of we just go with the flow? Anyone that wants to collab with me, I'm usually like, like, I'll check their music out. If they're lit, I'll tell them. 
all right, cool. If you've got like an unfinished song or something, you know, that needs a verse on it, send it my way. If I've got something that I'm working on, maybe I've dropped like a beat and a chorus, boom, you come drop drop a verse for me, innit? So right. it's nice and simple. They can take it, drop 16 bars and give it back. Or we'll be like, should we actually link up and then make it from scratch together? Do like, but yeah, usually it's just send it their way and then they'll send a verse back. Like the collab I just done, uh, it's called TYT. This is my biggest song of the year. TYT, right? I love that tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, Fino, Fino Ambrose was like a big, big Togo star. I was, right. I was surprised that he wanted to collab. I was like, yeah, sick. Cause we used to just share each other's music and now I was like, yeah, he's showing love back, lit, lit, lit. And then one day he said, oh, this tune's lit still. If you want to collab in future, hold on. I was like, yo, I'm sending something to you <laughs> right <laughs> now. Immediately, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Immediately. Yeah. And I sent that to him, bro. The verse I got back was mad. And then I'd sent it to, um, Lazy as well. It's, he's, mm. a, he's a Dutch artist in it, like Dutch Afrobeats and rap artist. I'd sent oh, it nice. to him as well. And um, so I just got, I got three of us. I was like, cool, I can fly to, I can fly to Paris. I can fly to Amsterdam and make a visual, yeah. but make it exciting, innit? And that's like the sickest collab I've ever done. Oh, so that's, just that's what's up. Them. They sent the verses back, sent the send, send verses back. Then we linked up and they're good people, man. Fino's good people. Bro. And I do DIY visuals, innit? So mm. I've got my camera, I've got my gimbal. I will go link a dancer, I'll record, I'll be like, yo, can you take it? Can you yeah, record yeah, me quick? Yeah, like, oh, just simple shit, things. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I can't afford to be taking a cameraman around with me and of paying course not. You know, I'm doing DIY things. So yeah, Fino was even, Recorded my bits, yeah. you get me lazy recording my bits, I recorded their bits and uh, yeah, now we've got bro. community, you know, we've got African community spread it out across Europe. No? That, that, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. But that's how it starts though, you have to try to get your tribe together. Yeah man, yeah. That's, 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 that's how it's going to be organic, you can't just expect, obviously there's this farming thing now where everyone is going to get those numbers, it's good to mm -hmm. start organic. Bro. Yeah man. That's what's so, up, So be big up yourself about for, you know, the DIY, don't be, yo, that's the way to yeah, go. Yeah, 100. That's how I do it yeah. bro. Do as much as you can possibly do for yourself. And once you've Boom. done that, then the people that you need are going to come to you. Oh, but right. don't start talking about collab if you ain't got no music out. Why are you holding? There's like, so much people in my DM. Can I get a verse? I'll click their profile. It's a private profile. There's no music. <laughs> why did you, I got two million yeah. streams and I'm doing a lot. So why would I work with someone that ain't even got no music Yeah, out? yeah but it makes sense. I, absolutely, bro. Like you have to put in the work and everything, mm. man. But you know what? Just before we get into, like, obviously you're an independent artist and everything. Yeah. The grind that goes into that and all that, right? Let's get into you and everything, bro. Mm. Yeah. So you're half Ghanaian, yeah, half British. Dad, yeah, my dad's Ghanaian, my mom's English, isn't it? Right. Mm -mm. But then you grew up around dance hall. Yeah, because um, my house parties. So I was in Brighton until I was like 15 before I moved to London, isn't it? So right. Brighton is a big party scene, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah, it's like cool. a Jamaican African community there. Yeah. Like, so all my big cousins, they're not, we're not blood, but I called them all my cousins yeah. and my mm -hmm, uncles, and mm -hmm. it was mostly Jamaicans there, isn't it? Right. So the DJs, they would be playing. Um, Reggae, and then they would be playing dancehall when it started coming out, like um, Red Rap, Beanie Man, Elephant Man, Wayne Wonder, um, who else? Oh, bear, bear, bear dancehall artists, yeah, isn't it? and it's, like Sean Paul, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was the main music that was being played in the house party. So then I started taking in inspiration off them, innit? And then, um, yeah, man, I started DJing. Yeah. Oh, okay, you DJ too, yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's before, what's up. before anything, I, I think I was like eight years old. My dad had uh, the twelve tens in it, the, the decks. Mm -hmm. He put me on the decks to make me understand how to beat match, how to sync it, and I, I was like, okay, cool. And then I just got obsessed from there, and oh, I just be there every single day. Uh, like had little CDJs at one point, just there every day, learning how to pick the right song to bring in at the right time, and uh, and then um. I DJed in the house parties because he used to turn the house into the after party for the club thing, innit? So, oh, for real? Yeah, he used to be bare people. We had like, we had like a spacious kitchen. What, to mad. your yard? Yeah, Like yeah. the way you lived? Yeah, you know, it, it's yeah. peak, innit? Hold on, like, like, this is your dad? Yeah, my mum and my stepmom <laughs> and my aunties, they hate him for it, innit? It's, it's yeah. so bad, like, uh, as a as a thing to do when you've got kids in the yeah, house. Yeah, innit? yeah, yeah. But, but if it wasn't for that, I would, there's no way yeah, I would yeah, be yeah. the person I am, innit? Like, That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. I was running my own nights when I was even 15, bro. Just renting venues and putting someone on the door to take the, You've the been money. putting in the grind then, Yeah, bro. man, yeah. yeah. But, but the venues were like venues, not your yard. Actually, no, we ran a club. Like, no, we didn't no, do it in the house. No, oh, we okay. done it in the house. Actually, that's probably why I done it. Because we done it in the house and we started charging people to come in to the house. As for so, five yeah. party each. And then yeah. at the end of the night, we were cleaning up and then we're exchanging, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, splitting the money up. Yeah. Me, my dad and my sister, innit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's you know what? Big up your dad, that's though, bro. Big, big, big up your dad. dad. Big up your dad for real. Yeah. yeah. So, so I would say that he was the inspiration, yeah, and, and all that, that stuff yeah. was the inspiration that now led you into music and everything. Definitely, bro. exactly. And I think um, 
the 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 moment when I knew this is what I'm gonna do forever is I was DJing in a house party and that's when I, I dropped you know the Beanie Man tune oh nah nah nah, nah yeah yeah, Sim, yeah. Sim, as soon as it went Sim, Sim, and everyone dropped it's like the whole room just went boom and I was like I felt my heart drop like no in a good way like yeah, course, down your spine. I was like yo this feels mad this is what once I you do. feel that I'm like forget anything else I don't care how much you're gonna pay me to do anything else this is what I'm doing with my time that's the feeling that yeah. like yeah, yeah so I get lit, bro. Bro, like the whole room just. You know, yeah. and everyone goes to the DJ, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And I'm like eight years old in it. So the emotions is 10 times stronger. I think it hit man so hard. I was like, yo. That's like crazy. That. Yeah. Yeah. But, but DJing though, and actually being an artist is quite different though. Yeah. Like DJing, like you can feel the love, but sometimes artists, it's kind of hard. Like you're looking for something that like you're lost in the source where you're yeah. looking for that love back. It's hard. But to, to get that same, yeah. yeah. That's, for, that's not for me. That's for Beanie Man. Isn't it? But, <laughs> yeah, 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 but yeah. For real, yeah. So I think maybe that's what made me so hungry as an artist right. to see that reaction, innit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. For your song, innit? Yeah, man. Yeah. I don't think I've, I've had a moment like that, but I've had a lot of good moments still. That's good though. Yeah. That's good though. That's good though. So do you say that you recording and performing, which one do you prefer? Um, I've only done three shows so far with, with performing. Mm. Um, they were lit, like that's a high, but um, Nothing's compared to the high when you actually make something from scratch. Like being in the studio, yeah, you're yeah, discovering, yeah. isn't it? It's lit, bro. Like when you find mm. a chord and then you find a little melody that goes on top of it, and then you find a little catchy yeah. thing to sing, mm. and you're like, "What is this? Yeah. Bro? It's the best feeling yeah, yeah, in the yeah, world, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. The best feeling in the world, bro." I can imagine because I've been in a studio a couple of times and see people create a mu like create music from scratch, yeah. and bro, I'm just listening to that, just thinking, "Golly, like." And, and it's so crazy because they are hearing some things that you're not even hearing, bro. Mm, 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 mm. You get me? And and fam, all you might hear what just might be boom, 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 right? And then the next thing you might hear was ta -ta -tun, ta -ta -tun, ta -ta -tun. and the way they mix it together and everything just blends in. Yeah. You're like, fucking hell. This is not what I just heard, but yeah, that's what you heard, the bro. Serious artists like that, yeah, yeah. They get the melodies that flow around their head. They get the ideas that flow around their head. I'm not cussing on producers these days, but I'm seeing a lot of producers. They're just loading loops in off a website, just a loop. Yeah. I'm like, why? This is lazy, bro. Why can't you get on the keyboards, find magic? They're just waiting to scrolling through loops to find. They magic. made it so easy you these days. Yeah, yeah. like, they made it so easy these days. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I still respect all the producers that do that. Like I work with producers to do that, but at the same time, do that. But I still, come on. Yeah. Play the keys is the best, it's the best part of it, isn't it? Finding thing something that's never been done before, isn't it? I hear that still. So you're half gone in and everything. Yeah. yeah. Do you go gone all the time? Yeah, yeah, every year. I'm back there in November to February. Every year, bro. You must be a rich guy, bro. No, I'm, I'm not touring. rich guy, bro. <laughs> you're, to you're touring between <laughs> Europe but, and but, Africa, bro. Nah, bro, but then it's good though, because because when you talk about that, yeah, I personally think, you know, that that's probably the way the whole music thing is is built up, right? It's crazy, especially for, for like someone who has an African heritage and everything, right? Mm -hmm. The reason why I say that is, you look at people like Burner Boy, Naira Mali, yeah? They grew up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they had to go to Africa, mm -hmm. right? Fucks to get it actually, to yeah. get the ball rolling properly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Then they came back with yeah. the bars and everything. Do you think, growing up here, right, and, and your music, do you think that there are challenges to what you do? challenges um in terms of you know because you call yourself an app you call yourself like an afrobeat artist isn't it? yeah i don't think so mm. because when i listen to your music bro i hear bare shit i hear iron being in there i hear dancehall in there i yeah. hear different things yes some afrobeat instrumentals yeah. and everything yeah, yeah. but i wouldn't really call you an afrobeat artist i think i'm probably call you more of like an Afro fusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I, even though that, that term right now, once you say everyone want to talk about, oh, are you picking it from burn or whatever, but nah, Afro fusion, we all know what Afro fusion, fusion is. is when yeah. you mix so many shit. Yeah. You got the thing saying? is, we need an umbrella over everything and then you can have the subgenres. Mm. Because if you pick a subgenre to, to promote to the world, you're picking a smaller amount of people to promote to. I hear that. So I just need, uh, you know, one main one. Like, it's like you got hip hop. Mm -hmm. You could even say R&B is hip hop sometimes. Yes, you know yes, what I'm it saying? is, it is. Like, you, you got hip hop underneath it is rap, R&B, trap. Drill, like, trap. Exactly. The but shit, man's yeah. not going to say I'm just that niche. No. Because it's smaller. You're, going, you're yeah. going for and the I'm, umbrella. Okay. Yeah. I need to yeah. cover everything. And if I change up and do something else, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hear that. So, so, okay, now from that idea, that kind of makes sense. So you're under that umbrella of Afrobeat. Yeah. But 
you also do different yeah, and shit. even after what burner boy said about don't say afro beats say afro beats with the s, s you know yeah like, yeah yeah but it's so particular i'm like i don't care man it doesn't matter bro do you think the random people in sweden care if it's afro beats or afro fusion? That, exactly I'm like, they don't care i'm promoting to much as much people as i as i can yeah, and yeah when you actually sit down and talk to me i know i'm afro fusion in it and i'm even more i would say dancehall as an artist than i am afro beats i hear that still but my beats are afro beats yeah 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 mm. so so do you see yourself and I'm a piano as well sorry and I'm a piano as well, mm-hmm. yeah. So do you see yourself moving back to Ghana to say, uh, you know what? Let me connect to the artists here, build some shit that is so organic here and everything. Not that your shit is not organic, but you know how it is with Africans, right? They will look at you like, yo, this guy's not from here. Yeah, exactly. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We have some homegrowns over here. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Like, I don't know if you know this guy, um, Mr. Easy. Yeah, of course. He's half Nigerian, half Ghanaian. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Easy. When I look at his career, right, he's so talented, mm. right? But I think that that's probably one of the challenges that he got. Where people, did he grow up? Pe- pe- people look at him. Um, he's Nigerian, but he's schooled in Ghana. Okay. Yeah, okay, he's yeah, schooled yeah. in Ghana, but then I think he spent a lot of time in Europe as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. After a while, yeah. But that's when, after he blew up, though, he's been... Is it blown up already before it came to Europe? I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think from what I heard, he's still making music from here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I heard. You go. I'm saying. So I think when people, especially back home, when they look at artists that are from here, they be like, ah, he's not from yeah, yeah, yeah. from Ghana. He's not from Nigeria. You know what I mean, like we have all these guys from here and everything. Yeah. So I cannot think that that can be a challenge. That's the reason why you see people like Naramali and some of these guys go home, mm. blow up. Then come yeah, over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So do you think that that's something that you're you're gonna do, or are you saying, nah, you know what? I'm just gonna be here, build the shit from here, see where it goes. We got the internet in it, so no matter where you are in the world, you know, you can yeah, kind of push music chat. from wherever. Yeah. But when you're in a culture, it's gonna definitely help. We're well, not in a culture, when you're in a community, it's gonna it change the helps. way your music yeah, yeah, sounds. Yeah. And like, yeah, when I'm in Ghana and I'm going to events and I'm and I'm collaborating with Ghanaian artists then I'm like yeah cool now I'm starting to listen to what works in the clubs here more mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and I'm mm-hmm. like yeah 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 if I was to stay here for like a whole year my sound would probably transform into what works in Ghana yeah. perfectly because right now I'm thinking about all the clubs around around uh, Europe and I just want to have something catchy that that e- everyone likes you know what I'm saying instead of instead of going into the niche. Like when I'm in Ghana like uh, a couple of years ago everyone was listening to Shatawale and Stoneboy and it was like a dancehall thing. It was it was too dancehall for me. I was like, I want everyone to make music like Nigel. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, I probably yeah, yeah, like this, different shit. Yeah. yeah, I like yeah. the the, the Afro beats when it was proper like chilled, but it was party chilled when mm. it started. Just when it started, like um, not even when it started, but like Wizkid, like 2014, uh, early Wizkid. Yeah. yeah, and it was like chilled, but it was party at the same time. I was like, yo, you can listen to this any time of the day. This is the best type of music I've heard in my life. And I just, from from like 2014, I was just like, yeah, Afrobeats all day long. I hear that still. Mm. I hear that. I hear that. <clears throat> but but you know what? Like Ghana has some dope artists though. Yeah, you yeah. know they have um, obviously Stone Boys. They have Shetawales. They have King Promise. Yeah, Sakodi. I like King Promise. That's he, more my type. Of yeah, style, so. I love King 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 Promise, man. He's yeah. doing his thing. You know, so but you're going to Ghana. No, yeah, November, November you said. Yeah, it? I'll probably be there November to February. I think. So, so are you going to go do some work, like to, yeah. to connect to network type thing? Yeah, yeah, I'll collaborate. Still, my my cousins into events. So yeah, I'll explore it a bit more. Usually when I'm there. I'm quite anti. I'm just working on my house and that, uh, and I might, might hit the bar, watch the football, and then I'm anti. Do you it, but I need to, yeah, I need to get more into the community stuff. I, I, I stuff. think you do. You yeah. have to, because hey, there's no way you're gonna get the love if you don't tap in. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, and I mean, most of my viral moments have come from, from there, from Ghana. Literally, yeah, yeah. when it booms and I see my comments is full of Ghana flags, I'm like, wow. Compared to the love I've been getting in Europe is just a little bit here, a little bit little here bit there. there. But yeah, when Ghana yeah. comes true with the support, it goes. I honestly oh. think, bro. I honestly think, if you ask me, I think, yo, especially if you if you come from here, back there and everything, with you know, you just connect with people and everything. I think you're just gonna pop, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you ask me, because because a lot of them are doing it right now, bro. Mm, 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 a lot of them. So glitch, yeah. Where does the name come from, though? 
I'm gonna fuck up the game. I'm gonna fuck up the game. You know, when you're playing the game and it, and something goes mad in the game, yeah, it just yeah, messes yeah. up. It's a glitch. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It used yeah, to just yeah. be I glitch by it. itself, innit? But that it's is. impossible to own that on Google. If you search glitch, you would never find it, innit? So Aaron glitch, as soon as you search it, bam. Oh, and okay. Aaron ain't even my real name. Everyone knows I don't care. Is it? Aaron's not my real name. I'm not gonna say my real name. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Yeah. It's, that's just what I used to tell girls, uh, Aaron, instead of my real name. My so God, so search, man, he's a ghost, bruv. <laughs> 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 He's a ghost, bro. Yeah, I hear that still. <laughs> yeah, man, that's it. Okay, so Aaron Glitch. Yeah, yeah. So, so, I, I so you, you plan? You plan to fuck up the whole thing? Yeah, team. man. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not playing games, man. You know, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not the same with these artists. They do. I make my own beats. I do my own marketing. I have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to do the industry the same way as like artists going and trying to get a deal. Forget that. I don't need your deal. I know how to upload my music, put it on all the platforms promote it and then watch the money flow back in. So, mm. you know, I don't need no middleman in, mid, in the middle of me and my thing. Do you know what, yeah? When I listen to you speak, yeah? Mm. You sound exactly like Ross. You know who Ross, Ross is? Yeah, yeah, he's my one of my biggest inspirations, if not the biggest inspiration for my music. Ross. I'll be watching his interviews. Yes, not, not the, the Ross in the UK, the American Ross. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. <laughs> he's heavy on the independence. Yeah. Man. Yeah, he killed it, bro. He killed it, bro. But he got into the deal and he got out. That's the, Mate, that's the thing about that him, That shit yeah? is crazy, yeah. bro. To have the leverage to get in and then get out, because they're going to blow you up to a massive audience, but they're always going to try and be like, we've got yeah, the yeah, most of yeah. your percentage. Your, your yeah, 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 yeah. But he got in, he, he made all the links and then he got out, bro. Yeah, he's killing yeah, it. Because, so, yeah, he's like, I know that all the people to get it on the, um, the, the right radio stations and the right TV channels, Bam, once you've got them friends, mm. you come out, boom. Because mm. what we've got right now is social media. We can still blow with social media, but if you've got radio banging you like all day, every day, if you've got TV banging you all day, every day, it's different, isn't You're it? You're good. It's You're omnipresence, good. isn't it? Instead yeah, of yeah. just coming from your profile constantly at people, they're like, you could be big, you could be small. Mm. They only see you from your profile. When you start seeing them from, oh, it's other people profile, this radio station, this, that, 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 bam, omnipresence, then everyone's going to say, oh, he's blown. And then you do. So, so you prefer being an independent artist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but where where is that coming from though? Like, have you if you if you've heard stories or you just woke up like you know what? I, no, I, I worked as a producer for years and I watched a lot of my artists sign deals and then hate making music, bruv. Because no way, literally, like they don't like their situation because why is that? Because like the record label is controlling when they drop a song, and then. <laughs> The percentages that they're oh, getting back they're getting off their thing, yeah. yeah. When you actually do the research into the percentages again, back because you you got an advance in it. Mm -hmm. You get an advance, and you're thinking, "Cool, that's an advance." Now I'm gonna get that. And get, some of them blow, and, then, and, and, and some of them run through the advance though. Yeah. Some of them, yeah. <laughs> most of them, bro. Yeah, the thing there's more coming after. Yeah, 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 there's more coming after. Yeah, and then that's a problem still because. It's not a lot coming after that you, that's your money now. That's mm -hmm. you. And then like you find out some of the record labels, they're taking percentage of your shows out mad percentage of your shows, your streams, your, even if you was to do clothing line, you put your, your, your artist name on your clothing, they're going to take a percentage of that because yeah. they, they bought your, your yeah. brand in it. Yeah. 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 So I think, I, I think that's where the 360 deal comes from in it. Yeah, yeah. You got me because the 360 deal, they are getting money from your music, from your streaming, from your merchandise, from your tour, yeah. anything, bro. You got me. So you might end up with mm. almost nothing. So I'm saying, so, so if the advance is massive, like massive, then maybe it's worth it if the advance is crazy. But I'd rather build up brick by brick my own thing. That but I then the grind mine. that goes into being an independent artist though. Yeah, yeah it's tough still. It's, it's tough. tough. It's tough, but it's fun. If you can if you can if you can focus on the positives about it, it's fun. Sometimes it gets frustrating and sometimes you might feel desperate, but it is fun to know I'm controlling every single step of this journey. I'm I'm choosing what I'm gonna do. I'm choosing what I'm gonna release, you know? I hear that. It's freedom. And if you actually if you actually achieve it and you can even just live off it, that's it. You don't need, if you can just live off just the music, because I can't, I have to do other things for, for money, yeah? yeah the yeah. actual money that's flowing on the streams is a nice little bit on top, but it's not enough to live off. Once you can live off it, bro, you're free for life, bruv. As long as you keep that, well, you keep that same audience keep coming back for your music, bruv. You're, you're laughing, bro, you're free. Nah, fam, I, I think it's all about building a, a, um, um, a cult following. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I mean? You know, if I drop my music, mm. I've got these people that are gonna buy my music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Forget about the 98% that's out there, the followers in there. Yeah, it's good to have followers on on Instagram because you see all the time we see artists with bare followers mm -hmm. 2 million followers 5 million followers 20 million followers and they drop music 
And bro, they're not even selling, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mad still. It's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, 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 like you see that you're thinking, bro, I've got this man following, but it's not translating to sales yeah, and that. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's all about building your following and everything. Yeah. Which, if you can do that, that's great. Someone like Ross, mm. someone like J. Cole, yeah. you know, whenever they drop, yeah, because people love them as people. They're not, not just as the music, people, it? Yeah. not just the music and everything. And they follow them for the music, yeah, yeah. not just for the extra shenanigans in that. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you know. But then, but then at the same time, so are you saying that if a company approaches you right now and say, "Yo, you know, this is what we got for you," boom, you but say, "Nah, it's you gonna be so that. difficult." Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's so difficult. You know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. because that's where the problem is. Yeah, trust me. So, you, so you're saying depending on the bag then, yeah, how yeah, heavy yeah. the bag is. Yeah, because I would already be thinking about, okay, I'm going to take the money and I ain't even going to even think about the music that much no more. I'm going to take that money. I'm going to rent this. I'm going to buy this, buy to let. I'm going to buy this, buy to let. I'm going to invest this. So I know that that money is going to keep growing because if I just take that money and then I think I'm going to make more of the music, I'll be stressed. I would mm. be, yeah. Take, so, take that advance and disappear to Ghana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. If anyone wants to invest. <laughs> Rob, trust me, they are watching now. <laughs> you, get me. I, you better I've be messed joking. Up now. Good. I've messed up because I don't think it's good anyway. I think like literally once you've got the money, you're going to get used to having the money and all that excitement is gonna die down, bro. So I'd rather, I'd rather build my own, man. Yeah, mm. I'd rather, yeah, man. So you enjoy the thrill of building it, of yeah. of putting in the work and everything, yeah. building it. Everything. Because no, if that. you do actually achieve it properly, bro, that's like the most epic thing. One of the most, like, yeah. I would be, bro, I would very be, satisfying. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and then after that, the life that you can live, bro, just don't know. You have no one to answer to, mm. and you've got money constantly flowing. So yeah. you said that you you've been a producer and everything, and, mm. and you've seen the inside. Um, arguments when it comes to contracting mm, and, mm, and mm. artists signing contracts and then coming back to say, nah, I don't want to do this anymore, yeah, yeah. right? So it, it's it's a very, very interesting conversation, right? Because it's a beautiful thing where you kind of sympathize with the artist sometimes, course, you know, especially time. when the artists say, yo, I want to leave. We, we just saw a situation mm. with Mo Bad. I don't know if you follow the narrative, the Nigerian artist who just died and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KPK, you go, I mean, you know, that's yeah, it. Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know who it was, so I ain't gonna try and I yeah. like rest in peace and yeah. jump on a bad wagon. I knew from KPK. Yeah, that's yeah. It, oh, you, you need this sound. You need this song. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so so it just one of them ones. I think from what people are saying that it came from contracts and all this kind of stuff. So you see, oh, art, yeah, like like it was from contrast, he wanted to leave the label, whatever the well, case is. Uh -huh. The beef started. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, where the beef re started. Really? Yeah. See, I didn't even know the story like that. Yeah. Was, and they went gangster with it. And and apparently so. That's you know what I mean? We saw the videos and all that. So with that being said, right, you get approached because you said, yo, it's going to be tough. You know, you get approached by whatever record label. Mm. They have a big bag for you. Mm. But you know, these are street niggas. Mm, 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 mm. You know what I'm I've saying? Already, I've already had to turn down plenty of that money, bro. I'm, I'm thinking end game. I'm, I'm a chess player, right? What's, yeah. How's this gonna lead? Where's this gonna lead? Tell, to, tell us this about it, bro. Tell us about uh, it. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so every no, no, no. What I'm saying is, so every contract like that's put to you, you have to look at the end game. That yeah, what you're saying, yeah, or you yeah. don't look at the bag. It's hard to not look at the back. I think you should look at the people that you're working with and think mm, this is okay. a commitment. Your base it's not you're getting married like as a girl, but this is a marriage, bro. You're gonna be it is a marriage. together for a long exactly. Mm. These, look at the people that you're working with and think, is this someone that I'm gonna be okay to see every single week for the next five, ten years of my life? Yeah. And most of the people that have wanted to invest in me, I'm like, nah, I will stay I solo until maybe someone that I feel like, yeah, cool. I'm cool with them. But but the, the contracts, it's, it's a chess game. Mm. How much can I get out of you? Not how much can I help you. It's how much can I get out of you? It's a chess game. So why would I want to even enter it, bro? I hear that. No, not all, not all record labels, but yeah, most of them out there, they're vultures, isn't it? Same, Fam, they, we, we, we hear the stories all the time. It happens in rap, R&B, you know, Afro beats, whatever genre, bro. You hear stories of, of artists that that went into something and they realized, nah, this is not what I want. Mm. Which sometimes is an ongoing conversation, right? Because you hear the, the, the label say, yo, we've already invested on this guy. We've not made our money back. Mm, mm, you know mm, what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and now you want to bounce? But then you see the artist say, yo, I didn't know better. I signed a wrong contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are ripping me off. Yeah, it makes sense. You know what I mean? it, it does make sense if they ain't made their money back. But that's the thing. Once they have made their money back, they're still owning you way past 
the no. money back. The but, only but then way again, is, is it? I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not no record label boss, but I don't think <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not. I, I don't think it's about like okay. Say you invest now. You're not investing to make just your money back. At least you need to to, to make a some profit. Something for your yeah, trouble. If you was to invest in someone, uh, they've made the product. Yeah, you've just invested money into them to get it out. After it's out, why is it not 50-50? They made mm. it, you mm. distributed it. Obviously, it's the same thing in any industry, isn't it? People that actually make it don't even make a percentage of, I mean, yeah, they don't even make a percentage of the profit, innit? Because mm. once mm. someone's taken off them and sold it, might buy they, it for they, 30p they, they, and yeah. go and sell it for 300 pounds, you know? But yeah. but with music, it's different though. Yeah, I don't know. So, whole, so you, uh, you, you're, you're saying like, if when it comes to that point where, you know, you've made a lot of money out of this artist, it should be, automatically it should be 50-50 on yeah. a level where everyone's eating. Yeah. Yeah, bro, it's it's a bit of a tough one though because because from from what I've heard, especially when 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 it comes to the labels and that, right? They might find ten people invest in ten people, and maybe one person yeah, that's blows. The, that's the model. Done, that's the yeah. business. You go, I mean, one person blows, so they are trying to make back the money that they've invested in the other nine. Yeah. From that one person. Yeah. And then the other nine are like, we want to release music. And they're like, yeah, you, you have to wait. We'll, exactly. We'll let you know when it's time to release. Bro. Exactly. Mad, it? You got what I'm saying? So mm. it, it, to, to me, just the whole politics that goes into that and everything, which at the end of the day, just like you said, we've got social media right now, bro. It's mm. all mm. about, I always tell artists and content creators, right? Put in the work, build your catalog and yes, everything. Yes. So that when you step into them rooms and that, right? Yeah, you have some sort of a cachet, right? To say, you know what? I've built this shit. Leverage. So I have a leverage yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? But just like you said, if you've not done nothing and you're just looking for an ad, uh, uh, um, like a handout or something, mm -mm. you get what I'm I saying? I don't even think they signed that anymore anyway. They never do that built, Yeah, I don't think, yeah, they're waiting for the next like TikTok start to blow, isn't it? And then boom, as soon as they're like, oh, he's going, grab him. Because he ain't even got bread, but he's got attention. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, but, hey, that, that's how you know someone's going to bring bread, isn't it? Like, if you're not, if you don't have attention, how am I sure you're going to bring bread? Yeah, but, yeah. But, but then, but then, you know, what he just said right now was so true, right? These days, I don't think they sign, you know, talented artists anymore. They yeah. sign social media influencers. Yeah, 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 exactly. Especially yeah. the ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get but, me? As but, long but, as you have a following. Sorry to just chime in. Yeah, Who's to on. say those social media influencers are not talented though? Like that's talent. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah, if you yeah, if you're if you're creating those that boards where people want to check you out, I think there's some sort of talent there, bro. Yeah, yeah, but in terms of music though, because because all we need mm -hmm. to do is to get this person that already has a buzz on social media, right? And mm -hmm. all we just need to do is to get a bunch of writers mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. write yeah, so you for see them. that happening with a lot of them. Now we, we, they we, have we, a viral moment. We, she she loves of them. She loves mm -hmm. them. Yeah, you yeah, get yeah. me? And to me, I think it's affected the quality of the music. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Because back in the day, bro, for you to to be out there, for people to know you, bro, you have to be talented, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. fucks, fucks, you fucks. know what I'm saying? But now, when you look at the bunch and everything, now you have a few people that are very talented mm -hmm. and everything, yeah? You know, because at some point, their talent is going to show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you mm -hmm. have the other people that are just social media influencers that sell other things apart from the music. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The artists should be learning from them a lot. Exactly. Like I learn from, I, I, I ain't even learning from artists when it comes to marketing. I'm learning from content creators. Boom. They know how to garner attention. Attention. The whole hook people in, retain mm. them. That, that's what I'm learning right, right now. Bro. Right, right, right. So in terms of your music and everything, yeah, in, in terms of the whole streaming and everything, how do you normally do it? So I upload to DistroKid, that's my distributor. Okay. And then they'll put it on all the platforms for me. Yeah. And then... I go into my destroy kid, I press withdraw, I get my money out from my streams, innit? Um, and then when I'm promoting my music, the way I started my whole thing was with ads, innit? So I was, yeah, I was watching a lot of tutorials about how to run ads properly, not just click boost on a post, how to run it properly. And then I learn about conversion campaigns. So a conversion campaign is like when you, um, you track people when they leave, the ad in it because there's so much bots that click ad and all kind of nonsense on social media now you'd be mm -hmm. like oh, i got a thousand clicks and i have two streams what's going on yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah. a conversion campaign that knocks that all out so you're getting less results but you know this is a real person that left and then they clicked play on the landing page and they went into spotify and we got them in it mm. and and that's how how i how that's how i built my my buzz at the beginning yeah and i had to learn a lot about um what countries to target and what interests to target and once you have your thing set up nicely you take the template next song same template bam 
And every single song I know, cool, we're hitting like 10,000 streams, very, very short amount of time because we're just reaching people constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, if, even if you have no fans, if you have a good song and you're running your ads properly, you're reaching new people. You that's what's up. And you don't need a lot of money to do it. You don't need a lot. You don't, that's what's up, man. Mm, that's what's right. up. Everything's gone scientific now. Nah, bro. bro. But then, fam, I'm proud of you, though, because, because you're, you're putting in the grind and everything. Mm. So no one can tell you nothing. Exactly. You got know I me. Mean? No one can tell not you just nothing. Putting it, I, think, I think not just putting it in, I think you're enjoying the grind as yeah, well. Yeah, it's lit. And, it's all and fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all fun, bro. And that, that's, the, that's the key point there where there needs to be a point where you're enjoying that grind. Okay? Mm. The, at that point, it doesn't feel like grind anymore. It feels like, okay, yeah, mm. this is what I do. Exactly. And uh, I think you're, you're, in spot, you're, yeah. you're in a sweet spot. You're in a sweet spot, bro. The, the best bit is the beginning, isn't it? You know? yeah. The best bit is the beginning. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Having fun with it still. I hear that. It's just a computer game, yeah. isn't it? Social media is just a computer game. I don't know why <laughs> people is sitting there scrolling, not doing nothing with it. This is a computer game. Win the game, isn't it? Like, so, so do you think that it's easier? Do you think it's easier to get into music now than before. The reason why I said that is before you have the gatekeepers, you have the radio yeah, stations. Yeah. You gotta go to the radio stations and hand out your your bloody CDs and your cassette mm-hmm. tapes and everything. And this, is the best, this is the best time in history. Yeah, to be and beg. <laughs> beg. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And still beg on yeah. top of it though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But now you can do anything exactly. from your living room, from your bedroom yeah, actually, yeah, bro. Yeah. Direct to consumer. Direct, Direct to, to consumer, consumer and everything. Yeah. And they've made the recording so easy as well. Like mm. they have all this there's apps or yeah. this software. I reckon you can make a song on your phone still. You, not a beat, because you need to mix it properly, but I reckon you can make a song with your actual phone and then yeah. release it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take a YouTube beat, you use your your camera, your, your, your microphone on there and then EQ it in an app, you know? Take yeah. the bass out of your voice, manipulate it, add the right effect. I reckon you can release a song. Fam, you lie there, man. I hope you guys are peeping game right mm. now, bruv. But some of you guys <laughs> that are out there, Watch it, yo, how, how am I going to start this? I ain't got the money, mm. you know, to do this. Bro, as long as you got a phone, you can yeah, do whatever, bro. Exactly. And even it if doesn't you, cost that much, yeah. bro. And even if you don't release a song, you can just do freestyles anyway. You can do your selfie freestyles and blow up your music like that. It doesn't have to be playing in the clubs, innit? The only time you really need to mix it down to make it perfect is if it's playing in the clubs, innit? People can still vibe with you in the headphones when it when ain't perfect. Yeah, yeah, when it's when not I pop. hear that still. Yep. Yeah. I hear that still. Nah, bro. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. You know what? I'm proud of you for coming up, right? I'll tell you why, though. You know? Because I've spoken to a lot of up-and-coming artists, and I've noticed one thing about up-and-coming artists, content creators, and all that, that don't have a big following yet, yeah? Mm-hmm. They are very, not scared, but ashamed. They don't feel comfortable enough talking about their art or whether it's music or whatever because they don't think it's they don't think it's good enough, but it's actually good, but because they don't have the numbers yet. Yeah, to see the, the reaction. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So so to them, oh shit, I don't know how people feel about this. I don't know, because they are looking at the numbers. Mm-hmm. They are looking at Okay, how many views they got? How many streams they got? Is it, because all the numbers game, yeah, in it. Yeah. But you, then you can't you can't base it off a number because that's how much people an app has chose to show your music to. That doesn't have anything to do with how good it is yeah, or yeah. even people's reactions. Everyone that sees it might like it, but it's still the app might not go and find more people to show it to. So mm. you can't base it off numbers. Have, the, the artists have got thousands and thousands, I mean, millions behind their promo budgets. And then even the record labels buy their own music to get it to go up in the charts. Yeah, so yeah. what are you going to compare yourself to that? You can't. That shit I crazy, got my confidence yeah. just off real life. I play my music to people, they go crazy in the studio. I'm like, cool, I'm good. Fam, your music is dope, bro. So you know yeah. what, scene, since we're here right now, yeah, if you're on YouTube watching this, you might not hear this because of the whole copyright bullshit, man. You get what I'm saying? But if you're on your audio... Um, platforms right now, yeah. What we're about to play right now, yeah. Before we continue the conversation, we are gonna play Blunt, bruv. <laughs> I'm very so- Oh, you know what? That's me being selfish. That's your best I'm gonna song. ask you right now, what song do you want us to play? <laughs> play Blunt, play Blunt. You sure? Vibe. Yeah, yeah, Blunt. You sure? Vibe. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. You, you guys, you got that tune, bruv. We, 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 we know that's your tune. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tune. cool. Let's do this, bruv. Go check it out. Go check it yeah, out. This yeah, is yeah. Blunt. For people watching right now, we just play the music Blunt by Aaron Glitch, bro. Can you tell these people where to find the music, bro? Yeah, anywhere. Just type Aaron Glitch into any music app. I'll come straight up. Aaron Glitch. Go check, go check that out, man. He's got Blunt. He's got Shivas. He's got um, Sky's the Limit. 
He's got T Y T. I love Sky the Limit, bro. Mm. I love Sky the Limit. He got Tick Time Fam. You got Bear Music, bro. Yeah. Go check that out, man. It's with, everywhere. With, with all right? that, with all that music, but how do you deal with the attention? Now, I'm guessing. I'm I'm sure when you pull into some places, it's kind of like yeah, you're feeling hey. Uh, so how do you deal with that? I haven't get, I haven't got noticed in public that much. Like I, uh, I, I got mo- I, I got noticed in Sweden, and that's what gassed me because I've been promoting my music hard to um to Europe, harder than England. And it's actually yeah. ten times more expensive to promote music in this country because so Whoa. much people are doing it. I oh, do yeah, like yeah. everything is ads with me. Like when I'm reaching people, I'm spending in it. The yeah. algorithm hasn't popped for me in it. I get my viral moments, but it's ads. So yeah. I'll be promoting to Sweden, even Canada as well. Canada it pops off, Germany, and um. France and Spain. So yeah, I got noticed in Sweden. That was lit. Still. That, that's what's but, up. Yeah, that's yeah, what's yeah. up. Do you get nervous for the feedback sometimes when you, you've gone through the process of writing, you know, through the process of producing this, recording this, and you got this and you're about to put it out. Do you get nervous or do you get excited for this? Like, I get excited, man. I, mm. I know I've got a lot of confidence in my music. I don't want to sound too arrogant, but I know. <laughs> I know it's you, a banger. You know when, it's not, when it's not even finished, I know it's a banger. Like, once I get the chords and I get a little magic, I know it's a banger. That's what's up. Mm, well, you don't even care for the critic. Like, whatever. I mean, critics are going to be critics at the end of the day. It's fine. I I, I like my music. That's what the bat is, isn't it? Like, yeah. You let people think they have their own opinion, innit? Like, True. you know, some people like peanut butter and jam. Some people don't like it. Innit? <laughs> that's, a some, some that's, people a like that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. You what might is not, It's not going to stop me from eating it if you don't like it. So it's what not going to stop bond, me from bro. loving what my music. Bond. If you don't, yeah. What is bond? So you got an upcoming concert in in France, soon, yeah, right? Paris, yeah, in Paris and everything, bro. This is like one of the biggest moments of my career so yeah. far still. That's yeah. still, yeah. We just need to make sure it's packed. That's all I'm saying. Nah, it's going to be dope, man. Yeah. It's going to be dope in there, especially with the French girls and that. Mm. You get me? I got a couple Yeah, I mean, because you've been doing your thing in Europe, so, hey, yeah. it should be, it should be, it should be, I mean. Yeah, yeah, and people are flying from England to come and support as well. That's and some up. people are coming down from Belgium. Some people are coming up from Germany for it. So, it's That's exciting, what's up. bro. So, what countries have, have you been to in terms of performing now? I just done Sweden. I think that was my first overseas one. That wasn't a big show. That was just a little bar, innit? Yeah. But that cool. was a vibe. And then after that, someone just messaged me a couple of days ago, like, yo, we want you to come to this club and next one in Sweden. So now I get to go do Paris. Yeah. I get to do Sweden. And that's how it starts, yeah. bro. And obviously, um, big up uh, Shush in Brighton as well, because they gave me my first performance. And I knew sure. the people that run the nights there. They got me to do the warm up for Young Bane last year. And then they got me to do the warm up for Be Young this year. And the crowd went mad for me both times, even though a lot of people in the crowd didn't actually know who I am, but yeah. they still like good receptive crowd. And I'm like, cool, and now I can use this footage to show other promoters yeah. that I know how to work with a crowd. And now I'm gonna start getting the overseas things. Now it's getting exciting. I hear like, that. Because no, no matter how much numbers you have online, I don't think people start taking you serious until they go and see a video of you on stage. Yeah. With people, that's actually. where it starts. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely where it starts. Uh, because I think the shush one was quite. Yeah, I seen the videos yeah. on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I see it, it, the reception was. Nah, good. bro, yeah, that was perfect. Bro, the yeah. footage, perfect, bro. That's that's definitely where it starts because because you know you have the the meta world, the internet thing. Yeah. But at some point, you have to translate that to life, bro. Exactly, exactly. You got me, and that's where people take you serious. Yeah. yeah, you know. But um, obviously. Afro Nation is going gone on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this, there is going to be a lot, a lot of things happening gone on this mm, Christmas. Mm, mm. I would say, bro, you need to connect to some of them people, bro. We'll chat to the promoters. Try you and go, I mean, chat to them and everything. You know, mm-hmm. we we do have a good relationship with with some other people in Afro Nation. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna yeah, talk yeah, after yeah. the show. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, we did. We, we do have that there thing. I think, you know, we're gonna have some of them coming up soon. Mm-hmm. Maybe the day the day that they're gonna be coming up, I'll ask you to come through, man. You okay, are we gonna gonna interview them? Yeah, there, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the people that run it. Yeah, yeah, yeah do they run the Portugal one as well? It's the same people that do that. Okay, bro. yeah, yeah. It's yeah, the same yeah. people that run Portugal, Ghana, everyone. You oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whenever the girls are asking me why are you not going Afro Nation in Portugal, I'm like, I ain't going there till I'm on stage. Bro. I want to be on the stage. <laughs> you know? like, I have you to keep growing my nah, thing. Nah, nah, bro. Because at the end of the day, it's all about. Networking in it, yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah. I'm saying so, 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 so we'll see what we can do with that, bro. Mm-hmm. You go. I'm saying, both, both, fine. We are proud of but, you, though. But to, to the future, bro. Next, what where do we see Aaron glitch, but where do we, next five? Let's see, five years too long, but two next three years, but where do you see next Aaron glitch? Touring, 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 mm-hmm. performing everywhere I possibly can 
perform. I just I just learned from Bria when I was in Germany how to get the festivals hooked up so I can go and perform a lot of festivals. So hopefully next summer I'm gonna be yeah, all over festivals. Europe and this different festivals. That's my Doing goal, innit? You yeah, know, yeah. I can't talk too much until it happens, but that's yeah, my yeah. goal. I'm starting to apply for all of them. So that's that and then build up myself as an artist and behind the artist there's a producer in it. So when I wanna chill off the artist thing, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna Produce. start bringing artists through innit? I hear yeah, that's the business bro. side of things and also um, I like I like the marketing side as well. So as I learned from marketing my own music, yeah. I literally like uh, take notes on everything, and I will give it. I will give it a guide to yeah. independent artists how to distribute, how to advertise everything. I already put something up in it. I ain't gonna plug on here and try and sell my yeah. products. No, no, I, no, I, no I, plug it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's about, bro. Uh, cool. I do plug your shit, bro. My Spotify plug strategy and my yeah. Spotify strategy is there. There's a PDF that shows you exactly how to distribute and run ads and like understand your analytics and everything. And yeah. where, where where can you get uh, that's on where? Uh, on if you click the link in my bio, there's a link oh, to right. the PDF in it on Shopify. Mm. Yeah. Can you tell the people your Instagram um, handle as well, bro? Yeah, just at Aaron and then there's a dot and then glitch. It's Aaron is two A's, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, That's like it. the thing is going to be obviously in the bio and everything. We're going to put the link to your Instagram, the link to to your YouTube and, and all that. We're going to put that in the bio and everything. Big so up. the people that are watching this, listening to this can just click on the link and just find you, bro. Love, you love. know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we are here, yeah, because just like we said earlier, bro, some of the up and coming sometimes is so funny because I've spoken to some of them before mm, mm. and some of them say, yeah, bro, you know, I'm not really into podcasts like that. You know, I'm just, I'm thinking. You have to break past the fear by <laughs> barrier, innit? And bro, it's tough. you have to get over the fear. Yeah. I know what it is. Like I was shook yeah. for time. You know what got me over the barrier? It was TikTok Live. Mm, like, yeah. yeah, once you've been talking to lots of people at a time, <laughs> yeah. it kind of breaks you through the camera shy. Yeah. Thing. And then after that, I was like, cool. But even this is this is harder than talking live because you can see yourself in the mirror. Yeah. It's like, I, if I do something weird with my face, I can see I'll fix my face. You don't know. Yeah. I've done a thing with, with Vivs and that. Like, anyway, Vivs shout, and shout out to her, man. She is she my home girl, man. She's my home girl. They're cool. They treated me real good still and they made me feel comfortable. For, that was my first one, innit? Okay, nice. Yeah. I, I think I think my boy, I think that was where he 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 saw you. He gave me and he was like, yo, I just saw this guy, boom, boom, boom. Like, you should check him out there. Yeah. And I was like, all right, cool, bet. You know? But but yeah, I'm proud of you, man. No. You know, because because I know what it feels like, you know, creating this platform at first mm. and and you don't have the big numbers. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes you start doubting yourself, like thinking, yo. How is this lane for me? Yeah, this, yeah, like how are people taking this? Yeah. You know, so when I speak to some up and coming artists and everything, that's the vibe that I get from them. Yeah. You know, also that's what they tell me. I'm like, yo, bro, you know, like they just in, comparing in, in the numbers with people that yeah. have got thousands of thousands behind the That's just what it is. I said, bro, you, you gotta put yourself out there. Yeah, bro. you gotta think about it logically, innit? You've put your money, I mean, you've put your your product and onto you, a site, that's it. and now you're expecting this site to just go and find nah, millions of you people. You gotta put in the work. That's bro. not how it works, innit? If you build a shop, you, you got a chip shop, you just expect <laughs> thousands of people to just come for what? Yeah, bro, you gotta put yourself out there, bro. Because people are putting stuff up and then their friends might share it and it might start a little buzz between the friends and then all of a sudden, bam, it goes viral. Cool. You, you but rarely do, it's yeah, luck, bruv. Yeah, but rarely do friends share your shit. Not, not as much as not as much as you want, and that 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 that's something that I clocked from from when I was a producer that frustrated me so much. I knew as soon as I go into being an artist, I don't want to be one of my artists to say, "Ah, oh, no one supports me, no one supports me." Because probably you just make people. Now I don't even want to listen to your music anyway. You sound like a downer. So and I was like, "Cool." As soon as I upload my first EP, ads is running from the first second, bro. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even stressing about numbers. I'm just gonna see what happens. We're attracting people in one at a time. Or they message me. They say like, my, "Like my music, cool. The streams is going up, cool." And we can yeah. build brick by brick instead of thinking, oh, no, I don't have no, one million they, yeah. streams no, like no, no. Drake or no. Nah. No, bro, like just that, build bro. it like a real business, innit? That's just what it is, bro. Musicians get lost in the in the That's dreams, what it bro. is. You know, because I always tell people this, bro. If you expect your friends to support your shit at first, nah, for the most part, it's actually strangers. Yeah, yeah, 100. It's actually strangers that will support your shit and mm. blow your shit off yeah. before friends jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the most part, that's where's the case, bro. But how are the parents take t um taking your journey and your music right now like in terms of your dad and everything um bro. my dad is is um he's always been supportive he's always been supportive he doesn't he doesn't try and tell me what to do with my life yeah. he's chilled and my mom she's the reason i've been able to do so much of this that's what's literally up. she helped me build the studio she she helps me with everything in it that's what's up that's, that's, that's my, nah that's salute my to G. them bro yeah.
salute to them and salute to you for coming, bro. No, for real, for sal- real, for sal- real. Salute to you, especially. There you go, I'm saying. Triple salute to know that you're actually putting game out there for the up, up and coming artists to actually, yeah. This is there's no gimmicks to it. You can actually do it yourself. Yeah, you can. Man. And proper salute for that. Love, love. You got know I me. Mean? Yeah, and, and proper fans. love for that, bro. Yeah, Respect. bro. And, and salute for you for, for coming up here as well, bro. Thanks for having me on, bro. This you is got vibe, I mean? bro. Listen, anytime you wanna come it, up here, anytime you got some some new music or whatever. Obviously, you got a number and everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just this, this, is, this is your house now. Yeah, yeah bro, definitely come yeah, on. Yeah, Let's place as well. <laughs> 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 Salute, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, For yeah, people yeah. that don't know, man, they can check you out on Instagram, yep. YouTube, um, Spotify, Spot, yeah. anywhere, bro. It's going to be right there in the description box. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? On YouTube and, and whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? And also, this is fresh of the boat, man. For real. You know, check us out on YouTube. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you day, we day there, man. We you day. know what I'm saying? It's your boy we, we Toby. We day like we know day, but we day. We still. day, we day for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's your yeah, boy Toby, yeah. Kels, yeah, yeah. Aaron Glitch. You know what I'm saying, fam? What song should we leave with, bruv? My biggest song so far is Back It Up. It's just about to hit half a million streams. Mm. Yeah? yeah? I'm about to get that plaque. <laughs> back It Up. All right, yeah. cool. We are going to leave with Back It Up right now, man. Go check it out. He has bare music out there. He's got an EP and everything. Just go check that shit out, man. Aaron Glitch. We out.